Some say that the world is coming to an end. Maybe they are right. For more than a year, everything has been plunged into chaos. The sacred holy empire of Abel, once a symbol of power and stability, has fallen. Broken and fragmented, the nations that were once part of it sought after the empty throne and now the shadow of an insane war threatens to engulf everything. Oblivious to the conflict, the Order of Nathaniel, founded centuries ago to keep humanity safe from what lurks in the night, continued its restless fight against the dark. Over the ages, the Order waged countless secret wars, always hiding from mankind that the monsters who walked among us, our darkest fairy tales, were still there. And then, two days ago, something unexpected happened. While the Order was negotiating a way to stop the upcoming conflict with the Warring States, the Red Lady, a high-ranking member of Nathaniel, stole one of the artifacts that the organization had sealed in the dark long ago. The Byblos, a book written with the blood of the founder of the Order. Nobody knew why she took it, nor the importance of the artifact, but I, Romeo Exet, leader of Nathaniel, did. Understanding what was at stake, I was forced to send the best agents of the organization to recover it at any cost. As fate would have it, amongst all of those agents, it would be the girl with no name, a cursed child bringing calamity with her, who would find it. This place is devastated. I didn't think that the war had already come this far. Ignore that nonsense, baby. What mankind does doesn't concern us. Our prey is near, I can tell. At last we will have some fun. What is it, uneasy? That's not like you. You have nothing to fear. You are the bearer of calamities. You have at your disposal the most powerful weapon in the whole of creation sealed in a damned book. You've got me. Shut up. Welcome, Bear of Calamities. I knew they would send you. Unfortunately, you've come too soon. I have not finished yet. Lady, in recognition of your years of work for the Order, I will give you a chance to surrender and return the Byblos. As pragmatic as ever. Well, I didn't expect a greeting from you. What have you done with this place? Make no mistake, Bear of Calamities, I had nothing to do with the destruction of this city. Its inhabitants left before the armies of the Empire arrived. To prevent them from taking it, the people set it on fire and killed everyone who wanted to stay. It's human nature. War. Murder. Death. It is something you should already be accustomed to. I didn't come here to listen to your pointless speech. Give me the artifact. I will not ask again. 
Unfortunately, I'm not finished with it yet. But don't worry. I've prepared something to entertain you in your... creature. Goodbye forever, bearer of calamities. Wait! Damn. surprised that you didn't pounce on that woman. Did you know her? She is one of the people who took care of my indoctrination after I signed my pact with you. <laughs> Something like your teacher, eh? Shut up. Did you know I don't like water that much? Maybe being sealed in a book for so long has affected me after all.
I don't feel any traces of energy here. She must have taken another path. If you don't move your pretty ass soon, we will lose her. Never told you you're too pushy, my dear. Wow, an existential barrier, and one of substantial power, if I may say. Suggestions? I sense two, no, three seals that support the barrier nearby. We must go back and find them if we want to move on. Don't worry, I'll make them visible for you, baby. down, two to go. Just one more. Barrier has fallen, baby. Thank <laughs> you. 